Um, this is going to be a quick video about development of perception. Thanks to all the research that has been done that we now know ways in which infants organize and interpret what they see. A research, a study of depth perception conducted by Gibson and Walk in 1960 was to judge whether infants can read the perceptual cues that adults use to judge depth. They used the visual cliff which involved a drop-off made safe by a clear glass cover. Gibson and Bock found that, despite the cover, none of the 6 to 14 months old infant they tested would cross the deep area to get to their mothers. But all 36 of them eagerly crawled to their mothers when their mothers were there on the shallow side. This strongly suggests that even 6 months old infant have depth perception. Now, what about babies too young to crawl and are unfit for the Gibson walk test? In a clever extension of the visual clip experiment, Campos, Langer and Krowitz in 1970 placed young infants to crawl on either shallow or deep side and measured their heart rates. Even the babies as old as one and a half months showed heart rate increases when they were placed over the deep side which means they were responding to depth cues. Studies suggest that one month old show only a modest interest in human faces. When they do focus on a face, they focus mostly on edges and points of light dark contrast. Two month olds, however, spend more time looking at the interior of the face, especially the eyes, than at the outer edges. I think this is the time where we like, uh, oh, the baby loves my face when in its reality, it doesn't really make much sense to it. Most researchers agree that by 4th or 5th month, infants can assemble parts of a face into a meaningful whole. By 5th month, they can distinguish between two dissimilar faces. This is sad that they don't really stare at my face because they thought it was pretty bad because they can't tell the difference. But um, Well, that's it for this video now. Thank you so much for watching.